Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a full face of Dollar General makeup. So I have purchased some makeup from Dollar General and we're gonna see what's the hits and what is the misses. So I'm gonna first start off with this eyeshadow primer. It's by Believe Beauty and I have mine in Universal. So we'll see how this goes. Hope everybody has been doing well and is having a good summer. My summer has been very, very good so far between work and filming and everything. Everything's been going pretty good. So I'm just gonna blend this in here. And just poke myself with the brush in the eye. midway to start a video. Alright, so it's a nice color. It's light. They didn't have very many shades. Of course, it's from Dollar General, so I don't expect it to be my skin tone, but it's okay. I do have a little bit of excess on the side of my eye here. Just wipe that off with a baby wipe. And I'm just gonna go with a basic look today. They didn't have very many shadow palettes to choose from, so I have this one. This is in nearly nude. This is the shadow that they have there. So it looks like a whole bunch of shimmers in here. So we'll see how this goes. I can open it up. Okay. So yeah, it looks like it's just metallics and shimmers. There's not much to choose from. Um, so what I'm gonna do, being that there's not a transitional shade in here, I'm just gonna use a bronzer and put that in my in my lid or on my lid because there's not there's not a color. So I'm just gonna take this bronzing palette and just use that. So this is what I do. If they don't have transition colors in the eyeshadow palettes itself, I just, you know, improvise and just use the bronzer. Put it on your lid and then go in with the color that you're gonna use for whatever you choose, you know? So I'm just putting a little bit on there and even that, that looks light. Maybe because of the primer that I used because it was so light. This is a pretty dark color. So. It's all good. Okay, so I am going to take, I guess this color here, it doesn't say what color it is. Let's see what happens. More. That's a pretty color. Nice little shimmer, like a goldish brown color. But I'm gonna put the red one on because it matches my shirt. So I like it, it goes on pretty nice. It's nice and smooth, it's not, you know, chalky or anything like that, it's a nice shimmer. It's pretty. And then, again, it's just going to be basic because there's not that many colors to choose from. So, um, I will use this brick red color. Again, it matches my shirt. And I'm going to put that on. Let's see how that does. Let's put it on halfway. Give it a little bit of color. So, yeah, that's a pretty color. just washed all my makeup brushes 
I will be making a video on that, like how you wash, you know, your makeup brushes. Everybody does theirs differently. I've seen people put theirs in the washing machine. I don't do all that. I just put it in the sink and use some mild liquid soap and wash them. Um, let's see here. I think I'm gonna go over with that same shimmer that I put on in the first. And I'm gonna put the little shimmer on. I'm gonna use my finger to see what it does. Yeah, that makes it pop more. You see? I don't know if you can see it. I know if I was to spray my brush, then it would pop more as well. All right, so that's on. It looks pretty good. I like that. And I will blend that out here. Just blend out the edges. All right. Now they do have a liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm not good with liquid eyeliner, so we're gonna try this on camera. So we'll see what happens. Actually, I'm gonna pull this hair back for the sake of the video. Pull my hair back real quick here. All right, so yeah, we're gonna do the liquid eyeliner. Pencil. Oh, so you can see that. But yeah, so we're gonna see how this goes. Again, I'm more of a pencil type eyeliner person, not the liquid. I just feel like I can't work with it the way I want to. I'm so used to the other type. It has a good formula. It's just something I definitely have to get used to. Sorry, when I'm doing the eyeliner, I just don't really talk much because I'm focusing on getting the eyeliner on. Looks pretty good. It's just more time consuming to me. In my opinion, it's more con time consuming with the liquid rather than the pencil. I keep wanting to pull up my eye because I'm acting like it's a regular pencil, but I don't have to with the liquid really. It's just more time consuming in applying it. Let's shake it up a little bit. So again, I'm sorry it's taking so long. I'm just gonna here because it seems to glide on better. It's 
And it looks pretty good. I like that. It's pretty good. I'll keep practicing with this. I like this. It looks pretty nice. All right, so there's that. And then we're going to go ahead and prime the face. So of course, I've already moisturized and everything for my face from this morning. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and set the face, prime it, and then get ready to put on the foundation. So I'll go ahead and set the face. Actually, I'm gonna use my next bear with me to set the face and then I'll use the other primer to lock it in once all the makeup is on. So then they do have the Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Makeup Primer. If you can see that, but that's that. Um, this one's more, looks like it's more liquidy. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just taking like this much. Put this on. Set that on the skin. It almost feels like a moisturizer. I do apologize for the background noise. I'm sure you hear the church bell. So this is a pretty nice primer. It does feel like a moisturizer. And usually on primers, I let them sit on my face for a good two minutes before I go in with the actual makeup application foundation so okay so the primer has set so now I'm gonna go in with the foundation and this is the shade sand so this is what they had I don't know if you can see that but yeah this is the shade sand and we'll see how it does on the skin well, it's very liquidy Okay, it looks like a decent color. It looks like it may be a little bit light, but we'll see. See what kind of coverage it gives. I know they say less is more, but I feel like I need more right now. My skin is going through it. So. Go ahead and put this on. Okay, so first thing, my face feels sticky. It feels very sticky. I don't know why, but yeah, it feels very sticky. I think it is from the primer that I put on. I know it's not the NYX. It is the uh, Dollar General Primer. But yeah, my face feels very sticky from this. The foundation feels sticky as well. Shade, shade looks pretty good. But yeah, my face feels super sticky. So that's the only that's that's the only thing that I don't like so far. I don't like my face feeling sticky like that. All right. Okay, so that is put on. Now they did not have any concealer, so I'm going to just put my concealer on real quick and then I'll come back and then we'll do the blush and bronzer and finish the rest of the face. Okay, so the concealer is on, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna move on to the cream blush. I don't use clean, uh, cream blush, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. It is called the Doll Face Cream Blush. This is very pretty, I think it's very pretty. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if my camera's focusing, but yeah, it's a very nice color. So we'll try it and see how this goes. 
I don't even know what to use it with, but give it a try. I'm just gonna dip a brush in here and put it on my cheeks. Oh, it's light. is a light and I think I used a little bit too much but we're gonna try this came on top we're gonna trust the process and see what happens so this is cream blush yeah this is a little bit much but hey for the sake of the video we'll keep it going first impressions hit and miss it so we'll see what happens so there's that it's a pretty color for my lighter skin people. It's a pretty color. Not my color, but it's a pretty color. I like them deep, dark red, purple type colors. This is a bright pink, pinkish, mauvish kind of color. But it's pretty, it's cute, it's cute, okay. So we'll go ahead and set the face. Um, I have the Believe Beauty this one is in the shade medium. So we have that here. Medium here. Let's see how this one does. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set the face. So I was opening up the powder and it just spilled. So, hey, welcome back, filming videos. No big deal, it's all good. Show must go on. So again, I have the shade medium. It does look kind of dark. So we'll see how this goes here. Okay, it's a nice shade. Um, it just looks like it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. I should have got a shade lighter. But that's okay. Yeah, you know, it's just a first impression, so. And I really don't like how my face feels. My face is like super sticky, super, super sticky. I don't like the feeling of it. That foundation, I don't know what's in it, but it's sticky And the primer. It may not even be the foundation, but the primer, yeah, it's uh, something. Okay, so it's the shade isn't too bad. But I don't like how it looks. Like my eye looks, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my eye looks really dark under here. I don't think I'm gonna use this all over my face. I may have to improvise and put in a different setting powder on the remainder of my face, but then I don't wanna look like a clown neither. So let me see here. Mm, we're gonna go in with the well, I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to put on this uh, finishing powder here, uh, medium deep. We'll see how that goes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I did go ahead and set my face with that Maybelline powder. Um, it's better, but my face still feels sticky. I cannot wait to wash my face after this video, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know what's in it. Between the primer and the foundation, these two right here, they're gonna leave your face sticky, I'm telling you. But if you wanna go ahead and try it, please feel free to do so. You don't have to waste your money on this. I'm just letting you know. But yeah, my face mm -mm, still feels sticky, but I mean, it's better, but yeah. So I am going to move on to bronzer blush from them. They didn't have a highlight, but we're gonna go ahead and do the bronzer and the blush. So in the bronzer, it's a pretty light shade for it to be bronze. Um, I don't even know if it'll show up on my skin tone. And it looks like it has shimmer in there. So this is actually in Golden Sienna. So this is the color here. You know, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that's the color. And I am just going to take my little brush here, dip into this. Yeah, I can't even see this on my skin. I mean, I can see a little shimmer, but as far as this goes, it's like a shimmer bronzer. So yeah, I can't even see anything on that. Blush. So they do have this one. This one is in Amour. Let me open this up here for you. I can get it open. 
this packaging. Okay, so this is a more. So it has a pretty color to it. It's just, just right. So I like the deeper color. All right, so I'll take me a brush here. I look like a ghost. All right, so the blush is on, the blush is pretty, but you know what, for the sake of the video, it has a little shimmer and like a highlighter, like a blush topper on there. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Can't get no worse. I mean, it's a hit and miss video, so may as well just go ahead and put it on. That's a pretty color, but that is a lot. See that? There's a lot. So there's that, but I'm gonna to tone this down to get my sponge and tone this down. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and move into. I was gonna put on a highlighter, but there's no sense in even doing highlighter because um that blush has that shimmer on there, like a blush topper, which is like a highlighter in itself. So I'm not even gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on mascara. They do have a mascara. Uh, this one is the Extended Lash Lengthening Mascara, Believe Beauty from Dollar General. We're gonna go ahead and put that on and see how it does. See if it's really lengthening. The wand is okay. It's all right, let's see here. It has a little bit, not too bad. Me, I always put like a couple uh, coats of mascara on my lashes. So it has a little bit of lengthening power on there, a little bit. But yeah, I can see you can build it up. The more that you put on there, the more buildable it is. So yeah, gives you length. So yeah, that's good, I like it. I'm just making sure I'm still in focus on my camera that's why I keep looking up here especially with mascara I know sometimes it cuts me off or you can always see like the top of my head whenever I'm putting on mascara but yeah it looks it looks pretty decent for Dollar General I mean it's all right So after I put this mascara on, um, we will do a rundown of these products. What was good and what was not. And if it's worth your money. sun's coming out. It's been raining off and on today. Beautiful day though. It's been hot the past few days. Getting a little crispy over here. So the mascara is on. Um, so this is pretty much the full face of Dollar General of what I bought. So they didn't have, I actually forgot about the lipstick. I'm so used to just wearing lip gloss that it just slipped my mind about the lipstick. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a rundown of these products and see you know, what you like and what you wouldn't like. Okay, so as far as this stuff goes, we did not even use the setting spray. Let me go ahead and set my face, you guys.
Now this smells good. This setting spray actually smells good. And I'm sorry if I'm all over in the video. It's been a minute. So I'm probably all over the place in this video talking and stuff. So my apologies. But this smells good. I do tell you to go get this. I recommend it. It's really nice. It's the Believe Master at Matte Makeup Setting Spray. So go ahead and get that. It's a really good spray. I like the smell of it. Okay, now we can run it down. All right, as far as the eyeshadow primer goes, this is okay. It's just light on my skin tone. So for my fair skin people, you'll like this. It's nice. Um, as far as the primer, sticky. This stuff right here, sticky. I don't recommend it. Foundation, sticky. I don't recommend that either. Um, the blush, the blush isn't too bad. Um, I need to go a shade darker because it's summertime, so I need a little bit darker. But although my makeup is finished, it looks nice on me now, but it's pretty light. But I still need to, you know, shade darker. Mascara. Mascara is decent. I like the mascara. It's, it's good. Eyeliner. I still have to practice with this because I am not. You see, I almost dropped it. But yeah, I don't really do liquid eyeliners, but I will keep practicing with this. I like it. I like it. Bronzer. Dollar General, you have to step up your shades. You need darker shades. This didn't even show on my skin. Um, blush. The blush is pretty. I like the blush. I like the duo here. The blush and the blush topper, which is like a highlight. I like that. Um, the setting powder. Now the setting powder is nice. It's just a little bit too dark for me. So I'd have to go a shade up. So Or a shade down. So I'd have to go down to like light medium instead of medium deep. And as far as the eyeshadow palette, it's nice as well. They just need more mattes. So if you want like a shimmery look, then yeah, this is pretty and everything, but they need more mattes in here as well with only just like a couple shimmers. Cause if you have more of a shimmer and a metallic palette, you know, you're just gonna have a shimmery look, a sparkly look, so. But that's pretty much everything for that. Um, there will be more videos. Again, sorry that it's been a little bit for me to film. Um, life has been happening, it's been good. It's been a good summer. Um, but I hope everybody is doing well. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good day. Stay blessed.